What's up goodies? Welcome back to your girl channel and to my kitchen, how to cook. And today it's a pleasure to bring you this recipe. Nice, nice enough. Now, this recipe here is a tasty and delicious fish recipe in the kitchen. Fast, easy and simple. Just be sure you subscribe goodie and turn on your post notifications so you will always know when we upload brand new videos. After all, I'm returning goodie and I don't know so the girl loving it to the max. When I'm ready for cook, let's cook. Okay, my lovelies, let's jump right into it and get into the ingredients. I have two fish here. Of course, you could use more, right? I'm using the croaker fish here. Now, you want to make sure that you wash it with salt, lemon juice, and vinegar. I took my heads off. You could leave yours on and be sure that you put slice into the fish. Now, to the fish, you're going to need fresh um, garlic, fresh ginger. I do have some carrots here. You're going to need carrots for the recipe. Some scallions, slice, and in this container, I have onions and bell peppers here, and they're frozen. Of course, you could use fresh one, but we're moving here fast, easy, and simple, right? Now, you're definitely going to need some chicken um, oil here for the recipe, and these are the season of choice here. You're going to need chicken seasoning, cayenne pepper. You're going to also need a little bit of chili powder. You're going to need salt, all right? as needed black pepper for sure and then you're going to need your apple cider vinegar i am going to put some uh paprika to the recipe as well and some cornstarch okay if you don't have cornstarch of course you could use um flour all right let's get started here now before you get started adding the seasonings to your fish you want to make sure that there's no water on the fish because if you put that fish in the oil with water on it it's going to be chaotic splashes is going to be all over the place so be sure that you take that um excess amount of water off your fish before you season okay now it's very simple here i'm just going to add a little bit of salt as needed and a little bit of black pepper as well okay and you want to do that on both sides of the fish. Just go ahead and turn it over and apply a little bit more salt to it. And all you have to do from this step on is just massage the salt and pepper into the fish. And before, when be, be sure when you're seizing the fish, you get the inside of the fish so that it will have flavor there. It's very simple. If you want to go ahead and add more seasonings here, you could sure do that. But it's okay to just go ahead and just add salt and pepper, as you will see reason why later on, right? Now, in uh, my skillet, I have a whole lot of oil here. I'm going to deep fry these fish. You want to deep fry. Is The process is going to be amazing when you deep fry here, okay? I have my fire here at a, at a very high heat. You want to be sure that your fire is high for this type of a method. The fish is going to be fried about six minutes here, six to seven minutes on one side, and then the same on the other side. You just want to make sure that the fish is soaked up and fried really crisp, very crisp, just like this. So it is very critical that you put slits into the fish so that way you will get all that uh, flavorness all up in that fish and it will be crisp through and through. A total of about 14 minutes nothing less will will um have you um making the most perfect deep fried fish here okay and all you have to do is just go ahead and just sit that aside and we are going to move on honey to our next step just be sure to say fish took just like that all right nice crisp fry and golden brown golden brown all right perfect perfection so just go ahead and just sit it aside good to make sure that you're subscribing up if you're not subscribed don't just watch me cooking enough make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so that way you will never miss any any of these upload because them are always good right mm-hmm all right now moving right along in my walk, I'm going to go ahead and add the chicken oil to the pot, right? Just go ahead and add the chicken oil. Now, if you don't have chicken oil, just use whatever kind of oil you have, all right? It's chicken oil is going to give it a much better flavor. Now, I did add the chopped um, ginger and some chopped garlic to the mix. 
and my fire here is at a medium heat. Just go ahead and just give it a nice little toss into that chicken oil. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And toss it around for about a good two minutes. You want to make sure that those two ingredients is popping with the chicken oil, all right? Now, after that two minutes has passed, this is what you're going to do. You want to go and add your um, veggies, which is your bell pepper and your onions, all right? And I'm using the frozen one here because I'm moving along really fast. But of course, you could go ahead and add fresh one, right? The same. It's going to come out looking the same. So now come for me about my frozen vegetables and me not, no bother with it, mm -mm. All right, so after about a good um, six seconds or so, you go ahead and you add your scallions to it, all right? Just go ahead and toss that around for about 30 seconds. 30 seconds. With your fire still at a medium heat. All right, the next thing you want to do here is add the carrots in. So you want to do this thing step by step because texture is critical for this recipe, all right? Very critical. So you go ahead and add the, 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 um, the carrots here and toss it around for about another 30 seconds. After that, this is what you're going to do. You're going to add a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar then you're going to add a teaspoon of paprika, half teaspoon of chili powder, half teaspoon of um, cayenne pepper. Or you could add more if you like, right? Depending on how much you're cooking for. And then you're going to add about a teaspoon of the chicken seasoning, all right? I didn't add any salt here because the chicken seasoning does have a tiny bit of salt in it. Um, so you but you could add if you like and then you want to add about a tablespoon of paprika Did we get that because um, I don't think I'll be writing anything down in the in the in the, in the description Y'all you know think so then you want to add a tablespoon of the cornstarch and you could substitute that out for flour cornstarch is better for the recipe all right now, as far as your um, chicken um, oil, you want to start off with one fourth cup of chicken oil, all right? Now you're gonna go in and add a total of half cup of water, but don't add all of it at once. Add a half and stir with your fire still at the medium. Eat, all right, for about 30 seconds here. And then you go back and add the remainder of your water. So you had in a half cup total. Give it a nice little stir here. And just let everything come together for nothing past one full minute. All right. So a total of one um, half cup of water here. Because you don't want it running, right? Now, all you have to do here is simple and we're done. Just go ahead and just put that good sauce all over your fish and remember this amount of sauce could be served with maybe about four fish I only use um two here but you could definitely just go ahead and fry up some more fish though this recipe is perfect for um Thanksgiving that's coming up and for Christmas yeah perfect for them time of year right now, I hope you did like the recipe, and please don't forget to share this good love with all your friends. Let them know what's going on up over here. Good to bring them come and send them come. I'm waiting. After you get done doing all of that, tell me what you want for see me cook next in my kitchen. And remember, as always, from my kitchen to your kitchen, enjoy!